Okay, so this is how to use your five star application. This is the home screen on your five star on your fire stick. So you just come over here, scroll over with the ring on your remote control, and you click on five star. The first thing it does, it brings you up to the movies that are currently playing in the theaters right now. So if you're looking for movies, you can just scroll through here. And if you scroll down, these are recently added movies, trending movies, top grossing movies, most popular, highest rated, most voted on by the people that watch them, Oscar winners, Here's your Netflix movies, your Disney movies, your Amazon movies, your HBO movies, Discovery Plus, and it just goes on and on. So you can just keep scrolling through here to whatever you want to find. If you hit the left ring, it'll take you over to your menu. Now we can look for TV shows. If we scroll down and click on TV shows, this now lists all the TV shows that's available to you. These are trending, new TV shows, recently added, most popular, highest rated, most voted. These are the Netflix TV series, Disney, Amazon, HBO, Discovery Plus. It goes on and on. Again, if we hit the left side of the ring and go back to the menu, we can now go down to Sports VOD. This is video on demand. Any sports game that's been played in the last two to three weeks will be on here in case you missed it. For example, it starts with North Carolina versus South Carolina. And as you scroll down, you'll see they've got hockey games, football games, basketball games, um, ice hockey, you name it, it'll be on here. And it's listed by the date. So if you missed a game, here's Maryland and Virginia Tech. So it goes on and on and on for about two to three weeks down here, as you can see. Again, if we hit the left side of the ring, it takes us back to our menu. This is live TV. So this is all the channels in the United States that you get listed alphabetically. So you can just go in here and see if there's anything that you want. If you find something that you like, Hold the middle button down on your remote control and you'll see an arrow, I'm sorry, you'll see a star come up in the top right hand side of that square. You'll see it pop up right there when I hold this button down. And at the bottom, it's going to say, add into favorite. So watch. Whoops, wrong way. My mistake. Okay, so we come here and we hold this down. You'll see the star come up, and it'll say Add into Favorites right down in here. Watch. Now I'm going to hold it down again to remove it. Hold it down for about five seconds, and it'll say Remove from Favorites. See that? Hold it down again. Add into Favorites. So that's how you add and remove different channels to your favorites. So these were all the stations in the United States. These are all the stations in Canada listed alphabetically. As you can see, it goes all the way across. Then if we come down here, these are all the local channels in the United States listed alphabetically. You can get any station in the United States, any local station. You can get it in Virginia, you can get it in Boston, you can get it in California, just about anywhere. These are your documentary stations. These are your music channels. And by the way, they've got some pretty good music channels. These are all your news channels. Everything is listed alphabetically from left to right. Sports Live, sports channels, sport events, ESPN Plus, more sports channels. Most of these are soccer. Here's your NBA. This is every NBA and NCAA game that's out there. This is um, NFL games and college football. Again, listed by team. You get NFL Network, 
You also get the NFL Red Zone, and it just goes on and on forever. This shows you the college games. If the game is not being played, you won't be able to see it. This is only if the game is being played. These are all the Hockey League games. This is every Major League Baseball team. These are all the pay-per-view events, like wrestling and boxing, that you would normally have to pay for, but it's free in the five-star app. Here's your boxing events, entertainment channels. These are all the channels in the United Kingdom. I like a lot of the channels in the United Kingdom because they give us the same programs as we get on the U.S., but we don't get the U.S. commercials. We get the U.K. commercials. Now, that simply means you won't see any Medicare commercials, you won't see any lawyer commercials, very few automobile commercials, and I really like that because I'm tired of Joe Namath trying to sell me Medicare. And again, these are all listed alphabetically. And so anything that says Sky on it comes from England. It'll say like Sky Golf. Let me find something for you here. Here you go, Sky Cinema. They have some really good movies. And on Sky Arts, they broadcast some really good concerts. So here's Sky Atlantic, Sky Cinema. Sky Crime, Sky History. It's the same as our History Channel, minus the U.S. commercials. It has Sky Golf. I watch Sky Golf on there all the time. Okay. So if we go back over here now to TV Guide, this is every channel that you get, which is over 3,000 channels, listed alphabetically from top to bottom. I mean, you'll be forever going through all of these. But this is every channel you get with the TV Guide. So if we go back over to our menu, my list are your favorites. Now remember, you're looking at my account. So these are the movies I have in my favorites. These are the TV shows. And these are my TV channels that I watch. And remember, none of the sports channels will have anything unless the game is actually being played. I like having the AMC, I like having uh, the East Coast and the West Coast. In case I miss something on the East Coast, I can go back and pick it up on the West Coast. Pretty cool. These are recent. So these are things that you've recently watched. Recent movies, recent TV shows, and sporting events. Maybe you were watching a TV show, or I mean a movie or a, a TV show, and you didn't get to finish it. So when you click on it, it'll take you right back to where it was. It'll ask you, do you want to resume or play this episode from the beginning? So you have a choice. Settings. Here's what I do under settings. Default English is, or should always be English for me. Let me go back down to settings again. Um... The date and time is automatically set. So you don't want to do any of these things here unless you're going to get in trouble. Now, if you need to search for a program, you go up to the top and you click on the search button. <clears throat> you got to tell it what you want to search for. You want to search for movies, TV shows, events, or channels. So let's say we want to search for a channel and it's a U.S. channel. So I can look at all U.S. channels, or I can go up here and I say WSB. So I'm going to type in W. I'm going to, let's do WESH. W-E-S-H. Channel 2. There it is. So if I come over here and highlight it, you see this yellow rectangle around it? I hold the middle button down on my remote control. You're going to see... The, whoops, can't do it with three hands. You're going to see right up here, the star is going to pop up. And it's going to say added to favorites. So that's now in my favorite. If I just wanted to watch it now, I could just click on it. And it's going to take me over to West 2. Looks like you're getting ready for tonight. <clears throat> 
hit the back button, it goes back to your search. So now if you want to search for another uh, movie or TV show, so we can clear that out. And let's just say we wanted to search for Top Gun. And we type in type, Top Gun, click next. There it is. And again, if I hold my center button down on my remote control, you're going to see that arrow come up. If I can get it to the right place here. Right up here. And it says, oop, I just removed it. There it is. Added to favorite. Kind of hard to see that little white star because it blends in with that. And again, if we want to watch it, we just click on it. And it says resume from where you were because I started watching it the other night. It'll pick up right from where I left off. It's got to find the spot. There it is. Then if I hit the back button, it'll take me right back to my search again. So hopefully this will clear up some things for you. If you have any problems, uh, you know how to get me. It's easier to text me than anything else because I stay pretty busy now. But call me or text me and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. All right, guys. Good luck. Have a happy new year.